BlackFacts.com presents, Native American Icons, Sarah Winnemucca. Sarah Winnemucca was born circa 1844 in present-day Nevada. She was the daughter and granddaughter of Northern Paiute chiefs. She lived during part of her childhood in the San Joaquin Valley of California, where she learned both Spanish and English, in addition to three Indian dialects she had mastered. After her return to Nevada, she lived for a time with a white family and adopted the name Sarah. In the 1870s, these abilities led to her serving as an interpreter at Fort McDermott and then on the Malheur Reservation. After the Bannock War of 1878, Winnemucca worked as an army scout, she had rescued a group of Paiute that included her father who had been forcibly relocated to the Yakima Reservation. Winnemucca, who had already seen how American Indians were at the mercy of sometimes corrupt reservation agents, decided to advocate for Native American land rights and other systemic improvements. In 1879 she lectured in San Francisco on the plight of her tribe, whose many of them had been exiled to a reservation in Washington Territory. In 1880 she met with President Rutherford B. Hayes in Washington, D.C. that he was promised to return her people to the Malheur Reservation and a severalty allotment of land there, but the order issued was never executed. In 1883, Winnemucca became the first Native American woman to produce a published book, Life Among the Piutes, Their Wrongs and Claims. The work included powerful statements such as, For shame. For shame. You dare to cry out liberty, when you hold us in places against our will, driving us from place to place as if we were beasts. The U.S. government committed to reforms, including a return to Malheur for the Paiute. However, in the end, nothing changed. Winnemucca died in 1891. Despite the setbacks she'd encountered, she was a forceful advocate for her people. Learn Black History, Teach Black History at BlackFacts.com